13 again. Um, I'm going to keep this video, it's going to be a two-parter um, and a new video format. You're going to have my videos at 10 minutes. So I'll try my best to keep them at 10 minutes or below. So let's get started because I've got a lot of stuff to go through. A little bit of history behind this pickup here. Um, my wife found on Craigslist a lady who uh, basically bought a uh, storage bin, and the storage bin or the uh, or the storage warehouse was of a collector. She didn't know what anything was worth. She's had it for a long time, and it's been taking up space. So she sold this whole lot to my wife for fifty bucks. Check this. Sh <laughs> Check this out. When I got home, she surprised me. Um, I go to walk in the door, and my son, Logan, leads me in and tells me to close my eyes. And he leads me to the game room, and this is the stuff I got. So, check this out. First off, in the box, um, the box has seen better days, but uh, to find one of these in the box is pretty damn rare. But it's a power base converter. Um, in the box, with the manual. <laughs> um... The manual has never been opened. Uh, still has the uh, the screws and the uh, core in it. But uh, here's the, uh, the power base converter itself. It's in perf. It's in great condition. I mean, as you can see, beautiful shape. And uh, of course, the manual. And everything for the power base converter. Yeah, so that's I've been looking for one of these for a long time. So it's very psyched to find this, especially in the box. So awesome find. Secondly, found a never been opened, still glued shut. It's never been opened. An Atari 2600 trackball. I mean, and I'm never going to open it. Um, as you can see, uh, the box is in really good shape. Um, you know, so, yeah, there it is. And you can see it's it's uh, never been opened before. Really psyched about that. I've never seen one of these, to be honest with you. Never seen an Atari 2600 trackball, so... Cool. Uh, and this is opened, but brand new inside, and that is a boxed 32X. Um, time restraints, uh, I won't, I'm not going to open it, but um, it, uh, it's fully, I mean, it has all the bits and pieces inside, manuals. It's still wrapped in the plastic, so... 32X. I was super psyched to get this. I don't have any games for it, but today I am picking up a. It'll, it, it, it'll be in uh, part two, but at three o'clock today I'm picking up a sealed Doom 32X game. So you'll see that on my part two. Next in the box is a an Atari 7800. I was super psyched to get this thing. I've never seen this, never played it. Um, pretty cool looking machine. Um, I do have a game for it, um, Pole Position 2. But uh, yeah, so pretty psyched to have this. Um, the flap's open on it, but you get a look at that, the art on the back. Pretty psyched to find this. This is Atari 7800. Pretty dope. This one. Really psyched to find this guy. Um, Sega Master System 2. It comes built in with Alex Kidd uh, in Miracle World. Comes built in. I didn't, I didn't even know this thing existed. But uh, it's all boxed. Perfect condition. Um, what's funny is uh, this was bought... I don't know if you can see that there, but it was originally marked for $59.99, but then marked down at KB Toy Stores for $19.99. Um, but yeah, so there's uh, Master System 2. It's pretty cool in the box. Um, 
Then we got a in the box again. Ugh. Ugh. A Panasonic 3DO. This has games with it. That'll be on my part two video. I'll show you the games it came with. Um, tried it out. Worked great. If you can get a look at that. Can't believe this is in the box. Can't believe a can't believe this lady didn't know what it was. <laughs> I mean, you know, she just didn't care. You know, that's the whole thing. She she just wanted to get rid of this crap. So, yeah, there it is there. 3 to go in the box. Ugh. And ugh. the Atari Jaguar in the box. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> this is another system I never thought I would own. There you have it. The 64-bit. Do the math, bitches. Anyway, there's the uh, there's the back of the box. Didn't come with any games except for uh, Cyber Morph. So it's pretty cool, though. Pretty cool system. Works great too. And lastly, of the systems, this one is signed, and I need to find out who it's signed by, but this is uh, the Vader uh, Atari 2600 VCS. Um, it's signed by somebody here, too. I don't know who. Maybe you can get a look at that. I don't know who it's signed by. Again, this was from a collector. This was um, from a collector's uh, storage warehouse. See the back there? But yeah, so, we got an Atari 2600, pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, probably, well, we'll see. This is all stuff I'm going to show you on part two, so can't spoil that. But uh, lastly, a boxed um, Dreamcast keyboard in the box and in the wrapper still. I'll open this up, show you a little bit of that. Still in the bubble wrap, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, the uh, I've never seen one of these, so not even whenever they were new. So in the box, pretty cool. Dreamcast uh, keyboard, pretty cool. The other stuff I will get to showing you in part two, but uh, yeah, all this stuff was uh, fifty dollars. Um, probably the most rarest thing out of it all was this highly sought after Beastie Boys edition Sega Master System. Let's give a look at that. Why this is so rare is because when you press the button, listen to this. Brass monkey. even be unplugged in the Beastie Boys version they only sold one of these worldwide amazing system uh, if you want it sorry it's the only one they ever made so just kidding it, this was in the box somebody got highly creative and custom with their <laughs> their Psycho Master system and I thought it was funny so but it does work. It works great. And uh, But it's the Beastie Boys edition of the Sega Master System. Hilarious. So yeah, keep your eyes open. I will have part two up and going. So keep your eyes open and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.